Hey cruisers, welcome to Scarlet Lady. I am in our Sea View Terrace. Uh, Ricky's out here on the balcony reading her iPad. It's a nice day at sea. Pretty calm out there. Not much, uh, not much motion going on, which is good. I want to do a real quick video and give you kind of some first impressions. We embarked on the ship yesterday. Uh, we were able to embark through the uh, Rockstar Palm Way area there at the Port of Miami. Uh, which was a nice perk. Uh, we it was very smooth embarkation, very easy. We got there pretty early, probably around noon, maybe twelve, no, about twelve thirty. And they don't actually start embarking until around. I think the rock star people get to embark maybe around one forty-five. So I'd say by 2 o'clock we were on the ship and uh, Virgin kind of has this policy where they want to make sure all of the staterooms are ready to be occupied before you embark the ship so that, well, that's just the way they do it, which is fine. First impressions. I think overall, uh, the first the impression is it's, it's very different. This is a very, very unique cruise experience. Virgin Voyages, it, it looks like they just kind of threw the book away and the, threw all the blueprints away and started with a blank sheet of paper on what they, f they feel like a cruise vacation should be. So from that perspective, it's very, very different, very unique. Uh, the ship is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's uh, pretty massive and there's lots of different public spaces. The public spaces are, I'd say, a little bit smaller, but there's more of them. So there's lots of different places to hang out, a lot of different unique places, which we'll cover in our review. And we're only on the ship for five days, so I'm going to do my best to get as much video and photos as I can to tell you, you know, what our impressions are of the ship. When we got to our stateroom, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I've done some research. I've walked watched some reviews. Uh, I believe it was from Gary Bembridge and maybe some of the other guys on uh, that have been on this ship or been on their sister ships. <clears throat> and I think I'm pleasantly surprised. I was expecting it to be much more uh, s much smaller. And I think it's pretty typical for a typical uh, ocean view stateroom on most cruise lines. The balcony is actually pretty large. I would say it's just different. The, the stateroom is much different than what you would expect. The furnishings are different. Uh, but everything seems to be working fine. I uh, have not used the shower yet. The shower stall is actually a pretty good size. Uh, the bathroom itself is small, but the, the shower is pretty large. There's just not much place to put things on the vanity. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. We're getting by fine. We'll show you. What I did is I walked through of the stateroom where we first got on, where there was nothing we didn't have all of our junk around. You can see stuff hanging up behind me. <laughs> We've got stuff on the wall. They do have a couple of hooks on the wall, which is nice. And of course, we always travel with some magnetic hooks that we add to the walls to hang our sunglasses or caps and stuff like that on. But uh, pretty pretty pleasantly surprised with the stateroom. It's very, very, very quiet. We got a very good night's sleep last night. I liked the bed. Uh, I liked the pillows. I slept well. You know, one of my big criteria, one of the things we're really concerned about is a quiet stateroom. And this stateroom was, we didn't hear anybody go in or out. We were afraid 
that you know people do probably stay up a little later on Virgin because there's lots of parties going on late at night. We did not get to the pajama party last night. We were just wiped out. Uh, we had a big dinner last night at the test kitchen. That was our first meal on board as far as embark embarkation. We did have a little bit, bit to eat in the galley for lunch, but our first evening meal was at the test kitchen. I'll tell you all about that in our food and dining review. And uh, we were so full after dinner and kind of tired. We just came back to the stateroom, watched a little bit of TV, and uh, fell asleep. <laughs> You know we're we're old, but it was uh, but it was nice. We had we had a good time. Uh, just the little bits of music that we've heard around the ship in different venues has been good. We really like the music. Great sail away party, by the way. We went to the up on the uh, I believe it's deck 15, wherever the pool is, and uh, we were maybe up on 16, looking down into the pool. Great music. Great. You know the entertainers all introduce themselves and uh, we actually had a, a very nice time free champagne had to go for that I believe that was at 530 from like 530 to 630 so we had, had a great time uh, we really enjoyed the sail away and then we went to dinner and then we went to bed so today uh, I believe at 2 o'clock we're gonna be going to a uh, some sort of a show that's uh, on in the afternoon and uh, we'll see how the day unwinds and how everything works. I have been able to get on the internet. The Wi-Fi is working. I did try yesterday to use a VPN. VPN did not work. Messed everything up. Um, I always get a little frustrated with some of these YouTube YouTubers that promote VPN because they don't work on cruise ships. This is the third cruise line now that I have not been able to get VPN to work. Didn't work on Celebrity, didn't work on Carnival, and it doesn't work on Virgin. So I just turned off the VPN, everything started working, and I did upgrade to the premium Wi-Fi so I could have streaming. And I believe that was $40 extra for the whole week. So just so you know, uh, you, you do get basic Wi-Fi complimentary everybody gets that but you have the option to upgrade there's like two levels I think one's twenty dollars one's forty dollars I went ahead and upgraded to the top of the line so anyway that's where we are right now we are I'm in my stateroom Ricky's on the balcony and uh, here in maybe an hour we're gonna run uh, check out this show at two o'clock and I will update you with more information from Scarlet Lady as it comes available. Thanks for joining me today and until I see you, sorry my phone keeps dinging at me, somebody's texting me. But uh, until I see you again, uh, smooth sailing.